growed up playing in these creeks and rivers. I didn't want to do anything to jeopardize my son from playing in a creek or river. And it just made good sense. Well, when I built that shrub nursery up on the head of Clare Creek, we started up there working with Cliff Roof with extension and decided to grade the site at a 2% slope away from the, the creek bank and back to the roadside and channeled all the water and created an artificial wetland to filter that runoff before it could re-enter the stream. We put in irises and hibiscus and stuff like that that absorb the nitrogen and use it for plant food. So it's a re-enter the stream and cause a algae like I have with the Lake Okeechobee and the red tides in Florida now. And everything's a cycle. If you do anything to break a cycle, the, the cycle will get tilted. Dad built the first greenhouse in around 1980. So I basically grew up doing it and uh, I enjoy it more than the apples. It's more of a challenge. There's a lot more variety in it. She likes seeing women smile when they leave your farm. <laughs> uh, so we did the annual and perennial thing down there for several years. And when I bought my home and this piece of property, I decided to branch out into flowering ornamental shrubs. My dad has a piece of property right down the creek, so I knew there was a good population of native trout here at the time. So I learned from building a greenhouse with dad that retrofitting is an expensive and uh, frustrating process. So I decided to get with Cliff and try to uh, do it right the first time versus backing up and punting. So he helped me a lot on figuring out how to design it where we wouldn't harm a creek in any way. All the water runs from the creek to the roadside and we, Cliff designed an artificial wetland to filter all the water the, that comes off the nursery before it has a chance to re-enter the creek and harm the trout population, which was a good thing because about two years after I started production, it's become a hatchery supported trout stream. So that was pretty good 2020 foresight instead of hindsight for a change. One of the major concerns we had was how to obtain water from the creek without harming the creek. So we was figured out a system where we could channel water out of the creek without actually being active in the creek to say it's like a cistern that's gravity fed by the creek and it pumps up to the shop and down this side and feeds the whole nursery with the, the creek water, which the hydrangeas seem to love. We started with a piece of land that needed some remedies and there was soil brought in and graded. The uh, pad was built to where each of those houses are set on a crown and the water can go down into a pipe. Those pipes are piped vertically away from the stream into a ditch. The ditch, the water actually runs through that ditch into a modified constructed wetland. And there are wetland species in and about that constructed wetland area that the water runs through and is captured and filtered prior to actually running into the stream. Typically a nursery would have started off and sloped everything to the stream. And there would have been no uh, water quality prevent, uh, issues involved. And all of the nutrients and any excess pollutants that may have come out of the plant material during production would have run in directly into the stream. And traditionally that would have been the way that things would have been done. We chose plants that actually have the ability to take up pollutants and nitrogen and phosphorus in excess amounts when they get into a stream or into a body of water become pollutants. They actually cause uh, things to happen to the water that, that we don't want to happen. And so we chose things such as iris here in front of me as a plant that actually will store all the nitrogen you can feed it and it won't let any of it go by. When I bought this piece of property, my son was, he turned, we moved in on Friday and he turned one year old on Sunday. So I wanted him to be able to play in a creek and catch tadpoles and fish and stuff in the creek and just like I did when I was a kid. I didn't want to do anything to impact that just because of, I want my kid to be able to play in the creek and stomp around the creek. I didn't want to harm nobody further down the stream because people I went to school with have got kids that live down the road and they play in this creek too. So 
probably kids first, trout second.